A while back, I did a review on this Evolution Chop Saw. Now, this is the Evo Saw 380. It's been an absolutely outstanding saw. There are a few minor drawbacks with it, but for the most part, it's been absolutely outstanding. Now, we're going to talk about those drawbacks, mainly because Evolution sent me their new model. And their new model basically took all of the things I hated about the old model, and they fixed it in the new model. Now, this new model has a bunch of improvements. We're going to go over them in a second. But what I really am more impressed about is the fact that Evolution listened to all of the complaints that all of us have been complaining about. And they made a pretty much beast of a saw. And this saw is really cool. So let's dig into it. We'll show you all of the features and then we'll do some cuts and show you how great this saw really is. This is the all new S380 CPS. It has a 15 inch blade. It is an outstanding chop saw. And I really just wanna go over some of the new features that they included in the new saw that really needed added to the old chop saw. Now the old saw was great. And again, I really had no major issues with this saw. It has been my go-to saw for pretty much everything you see me build here in the shop. The one biggest complaint that everybody kind of got a hold of Evolution and complained about was the vise. And the vise itself is pretty much a very typical quick vise. And you flip this lever down and you can tighten it up. But the problem is the threading on this is just kind of a standard thread. It's not a square flat thread like an Acme thread. It's just a regular thread. And under some situations, it binds up and you can't kick the release valve up. And when you try to turn it, it almost wants to tear the threads up. And some people have reported that they have kind of tore their threads up. Now I learned to deal with it. It's jammed up on me a few times and I just kind of knock it around and I'm kind of gentle with it and it'll, it'll break free. But if you were in a hurry, it could cause you some frustration. What Evolution did is they listened. This is why this company is such a great company. Uh, people talked to them, they said, we really think you need to improve it, and they did. They gave it an Acme style flat thread, and this does not lock up. In fact, you can see there's a bunch of shavings all over the, the top because I have cut a lot of steel with the saw testing it out because I wanted to make sure it was a good saw before I did a review with you guys. Another common complaint, and again, these complaints are so mild because the saw has been absolutely fantastic, is when you're setting up the vise to do a 45, there's this lever which is kind of down and hard to get to, not a big deal, we can work around that, uh, but you have to set it, and there's really no measuring marks on what a 45 is, but this little plate here, and quite honestly, it's not very accurate. In fact, I never even used it. I used my own tools to dial in what degree I wanted, and then when you would tighten it down, and hopefully you didn't bump it when you tightened it down. Now, normally you're doing a 45 or a straight 90, and uh, those are most common settings that you would probably do with one of these. And so what Evolution decided to do was to put some indents. This is actually awesome. They still have a, a handle. It sits a little bit taller so you can get to it. It's not buried behind, uh, but there's a pin here. You can pick this pin up and you can lock it into a 45 then tighten the gate down again and you're ready. It's very cool, very handy that they did that. Uh, that way you're not constantly measuring your 45s. And if you wanna make it straight again, just loosen it out, pick it back up, drop your pin in and tighten it and you're ready to go again. They've kind of polished the whole thing. They made it look a little nicer. Uh, this kind of reminded me of an old Delta style saw. It was just kind of some bent metal and, and I don't want to say crude, but there just wasn't a lot of pleasing aspects to it. Not that that matters because you really want a reliable saw in your shop and that's what this delivered. But you can see the new one is kind of nice looking. It's uh, very pleasing on the eyes and they, you know, everything is it, that moves is like this bright blue color. And this looks like a plastic. It's not, it's actually metal. The color of the paint makes it look kind of like a toy plastic. I really like the design. It's, it's quite awesome. Now something else Evolution has done is everything that you need to adjust uses the same size Allen head. And what they've done is they've put a little storage area and the Allen key right here in the front. So when you need it, you have it, when you're done, you put it back in and you store it. Now the old tray didn't have a place to bolt this down to a top. So if you wanted to bolt it down, you kind of had to get creative. And the new one, they've made sure they put some spots in here so you can drop some bolts down in there and lock it down on your workbench. A little minor upgrade that they did that kind of always bothered me just cause I'm kind of anal about stupid things is this tray back here that catches you know, all the shavings, it just slid in there and you kind of turned this knob up, but it always wiggled around and would vibrate loose. 
and it just wasn't a great design. So they took care of that as well. They, the new one, it's got an Allen to loosen it up, but it is spring loaded. <laughs> Look how much I've actually cut with the saw, a lot. But it's spring loaded, so when you shove in on it and then lock it in place, it's not gonna rattle around and come out of there like the old one. So again, just a really good redesign on what was a good saw that made it an even better saw. I think I've talked long enough about the changes and we really need to get to some cuts. I do want to say that I will put a link down below for Evolution Saws. It'll be an affiliate link with Amazon and you'll be surprised how cheap these saws really are for what they deliver. They are really a good bang for the buck and uh, I just cannot be happier with the fact that Evolution is just continuously evolving, no pun intended, their products to make them a great product. Now this is an inch and a half ID pipe that's in here. It's about one eighth inch thick on the wall. And it's just gonna be like butter to cut through something this lightweight. But we're gonna cut it so you can see that firsthand. <laughs> Now, one thing worth mentioning is this is not an abrasive wheel. So after the saw makes the cut, there's just not a lot of heat put back into the part and you can handle it like I am. And quite honestly, it's just lukewarm. It's not gonna burn you. This is one and a half inch by eighth inch mild steel angle iron. This is probably pretty much what most people are probably cutting, at least in the hobbyist area. It's fairly lightweight for the saw. Again, it should just chew right through it without any issues at all. But this is actually gonna be a relatively difficult cut. And let me explain why. It's a two by four by one eighth inch tubing. Now that's not very thick, but the reason it's gonna be difficult is it's at a 45 degree in device and you need a really big saw to accommodate something this large at a 45. And that's because from here to here, it's about six inches. Uh, cutting things flat with this saw, uh, it'll do it, but uh, it's hard on the blade and it's not quite as fast because you have a lot of surface area that you're cutting through. However, this is gonna cut through this just fine without any problems at all. And if you had this very same piece in a bandsaw, this is one of those pieces where you would, you'd start the bandsaw and walk away because it'll just take a long time to cut. But with this guy, not too bad. Now let's give it a really good test. This is three inch by three inch angle, but it is a quarter inch thick. So it's a pretty thick piece of metal. And I have a sneaky suspicion we're gonna cut it without any problems at all. Now here's kind of a close up of that very same piece I just cut off. I wanted you to see how clean of a cut that saw actually makes. Now I also wanted to emphasize that since this is not an abrasive wheel and it's actually a standard blade, you can cut aluminum with it and it doesn't kind of gum up like what happens when you try to grind or cut aluminum with an abrasive wheel. So what we have in here is about an inch and a quarter. It's a little thicker than an eighth. It's kind of a, not a standard piece of metal, but it is aluminum. We're gonna cut right through it. And just like that, you have a nice clean cut. 
So there you have it. My honest review of this saw is absolutely awesome in every way. I'm really thankful that Evolution provided this saw and I am excited to use it in some upcoming projects. I think the next project we're gonna build is actually my take on a rocket stove. I have some cool ideas, they're pretty simple. It should be easy for everybody to make. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. You might be entertained.